Hello guys, welcome to the next episode, Plug and Play Tactic with me, Magubic at Gateshead. 12th season, it's been a struggle, but we're getting somewhere, I believe, after a real busy transfer window. The last games you saw, drew with Liverpool and then drew with Arsenal. We then drew with Leeds, believe it or not, and then went to Wolves and lost 4-3, and they scored a 91st minute winner. After that, We've beat Leeds in the FA Cup replay. We've thumped Fulham 4 1, played a friendly against Shakhtar, beat them 6 0, and we've beaten Cardiff 3 1 in the Premier League. Premier League table looks like this We're ninth, 35 points, with 14 points outside Europa League, and we're four points behind Leicester in eighth. After that, we're 14 points behind seventh place. So it's only eighth we're really looking for, eighth or seventh, maybe. But transfer windows come and gone, and it's been really, really busy. I made a decision based on my squad. It didn't look like it had enough experience. So, Mattia Panico went to Wolfsburg, £33 million. Panico had gone. Look at the rating since he's gone. 41 out of 100 doubts with his ability. I got £33 million for him. Ziegler, another one. He went and he went to Brighton and he went to Brighton for 16 million. But again, look at the rating 51 out of 100. So those two players got me 49 million pound combined. Then I decided to cash in on this guy, Daniel Lewis. He's only rated 51 out of 100 and he went for 30 million. So I sold three players for literally for 79 million. And with that, I spent more money. Tristan Rittenauer is a German defender. He's going to improve. He's 23. He will get better. He's coming to my team. I signed him for 10 million. He's in. Oskan Kabak came in and ball playing defender. I signed him from Man United for 23 million. 30 year old. He's in and he's the number three centre back. But he's in. And he replaced Angel. Don't forget, Angel left for Inter Milan for 30 million. Nikola Vladic was put up for sale by Tottenham. He can play left wing, right wing. He's in, signed in. Maybe past his best, but he's better than Ziegler and he's better than Panico. So he's coming to the team. Don't forget, I've also got Reese Nielsen signed and he was, he's doing a great job currently. Roman Perrot was the next one that came in into the middle of my midfield. Deep line playmaker. Signed from Arsenal for 17 million. He's worth 24. He'll do a job for me. And he's going to be key in the next game in particular. And also, I got this guy on loan from Juve. Having sold Daniel Lewis, I decided to get this guy in on loan. And he can play. He's got 16 acceleration, technique 16, heading 11, finishing 15, strength 12, stamina. He's in and he's already scored two in three games for me. He's on loan from Juve, Romanian striker. So I'm looking good. My squad looks much, much better. This year alone, I've spent £153 million, but I've received £186 million. £36 million in the red, in the black even. We've still got a transfer budget of £57 million and a bank balance of £86 million. We're in a much better place and I'm, I'm feeling much, much better than I did in the last video where I felt like I wanted to just top myself, which is just ridiculous. So today you're going to see us take on Barcelona, Champions League first round, then Man United at home. It's talk of Pochettino leaving United, which is interesting. After that, I've got Liverpool in the FA Cup fifth round coming up as well. I've got some games coming up. So let's get into this game. This is Barcelona. Now, they're the odds-on favourites. Now, I've picked my team, and I'm going to go Pheasant and Perro in the middle of midfield to create. Because we're not going to have a lot of the ball. That's the team I'm going to pick. Rather than pick two defensive-minded midfielders, or do I go Chowdhury? Let me go Chowdhury and Perro. Chowdhury can, can still get around. Hold on, McKinney, work rate 16, determination, tackling, passing. In fact, McKinney's going to play next to Perro. So the team, Henderson, Marmol, Todibo, Demiral, Gurai, Zabios, Perro, or Perro, McKinney, Nielsen, Wing and Bath. That's my team. Everybody else is either unregistered or injured. 
Let's get into it. Barcelona at home. Remember, we are actually the holders of the Champions League. Team talk calm. No, we're the underdogs. Get out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. Here we go. Encourage the players. We've got to throw early. Marmo takes the throw and straight to the goalkeeper. Dump the ball forward. Imagine the Barca are a good technical team. Done well to close that down. Nelson looks for a ball up to Bath. The defender comes across and clears it. And they've picked up second ball as well. Work the ball from left to right. Stop the cross. We don't. They've scored. Rubio has scored after one and a half minutes. Deary me. Away go. I think a key to this to this particular tactic, <clears throat> which we haven't changed from day one, is you actually need left midfielders and right midfielders rather than play attacking midfielders in those wide positions. Because for them to work hard and tackle back is key. Right, can we get a response now? Now we've given the ball away. This game could be over in the first leg. The way it's going so far. They're in again, Nelson, and they've made it two. Camavinga has scored to make it 2-0 Barcelona after 12 minutes. There's just non-existent tackles here, look. Absolutely non-existent. Tadebo, this guy's just walking around. It's outrageous. Show passion. Pero. Marmal. Plays it forward to Zabios. Gets found the defender, shoots, and it goes just wide. Not too bad. The result and goal kick. Barca take it. Delit. Standing, we're standing way not off them too much. They've got so much space to move the ball around. Great challenge from Marmol. Wing picks up the ball and drives. Shoots. Two good opportunities to respond. Good. Barca's free kick. The header. They've hit the post. Zabios doesn't come to anything. Right. Shout. I'm going to ask them to tighten up. They're focused. Need a goal. Barca's throwing. Inside their own half. Let's win the ball back. Or try to. No, they've played a good one too. And he's in. Feeble shot though. Henderson collects it. Not really giving an account of ourselves today. We haven't really shown up. Which is disappointing. Marmo takes the throw to wing. Wing sees the bios in front of him. Turns the defender, shoots. Goalkeeper saves it. Down that left-hand side is key. They've got players that are not really fit. Right. Dressing room, team talk, aggressive. Show me something in the second half. Aggressive, aggressive. We need to calm down. All of them need to really calm down. Tactics, players. My right back's not performing, nor is my left back. Who's a better defender? Tackling 14. Marmal tackling. It's 15. Gurais, it's 14. Um, what can I do here? I'm going to go Pheasant in the middle of midfield. No, I'm not. Backed. Let me undo that. Chowdhury. In for Pero. Pheasant up front. In place of Bath. That's it. Right, I need a response. Demand more. Can we get a goal? In the game. Or will Barca score a couple more? Win that ball back. Turn it around us like we're statues. Good double save from Henderson. Marmol's not improved his performance. So he's off. Baron Zezzi's in. To play on that left hand side. And he is. Right. Win the ball. Win the ball back. Get that ball, win it. Make the challenge and win the ball. Well done, wing. Well done. And he's through. He drives. Will he take it by himself? He does. Should have passed it. That's on all day long. Right, long throw. Wing flicks it on. He doesn't. Your eyes got back in. McKenney. Goes all the way back to the goalkeeper, Henderson. 
try and build possession again. Henderson to the Ebo. Inside to McKenney. Centre backs are playing keep ball and going back to the goalkeeper. It's not what we want. Maybe we're trying to draw out the Barcelona midfield. Kenny's turned. Looking for wing. De Ligt comes across and clears, but only to Gerwright. McKenny again. Nelson inside to Connor Pheasant. Gerwright on the overlap. Cross comes in. There's a header. And Dave Wing has scored. And it's 2 1. And that's exactly what we wanted. Brilliant from Wing. Brilliant move from us in general. Nelson with a good little header in and the overlap from Gurright. It was heavily involved in that. Brilliant. 2-1. Response is what we're looking for. Right, they're fired up, they're motivated. Demar Moore again. Can we get a second? Their right back is awful. 63%. Right, they've now got a free kick. They head it over. Right, come on, boys. Let's get something. Get creative. Last 10. Can we get another goal? Right, corner. Gurai swings it in. Pheasant. Oh, I thought he was going to strike one. Gurai. Delit heads the ball away. They're going to break. Hold him up. Win the ball back. We don't. Oh, uh, look at that. Tadebo. Supposed to be the best defender we got in the squad. Misses a challenge. What is he doing? It's the worst £250,000 a week I'm paying. The lone E from Arsenal. It wasn't him, was it? Was it him? I don't know who it was. Deary me. Woeful. 3 1 leads. We've got a job on, second leg. I think it's safe to say we're, not gonna, we're gonna be out. Far from pleased what I've just seen. Don't wanna save that. Of course I don't. Right, I've got move forward to Man United game. Brilliant. Vlasic has got a double hernia. He's out four to six weeks. Brilliant. New signing to play on that left-hand side, and he's out. This is a tumultuous season. This really is. It's a horrendous season. I just want it done. I just want it over. As long as we finish sort of seventh, eighth, then I'll be happy. We can go again next year, but wow. We're still in the FA Cup. We've got Liverpool. But we're not having the best of seasons. Here we go. This is Man United. We're the favourites, believe it or not, despite the fact that they're third. Henderson, Ferenczi, Tadebo, Kabak, Gurwright, Zabayos, Perot, Tripoli, Nelson, Barth and, and Tabakaru. But I'm going to play Dave Wing because Zabalos hasn't trained well this week. So Wing's going to start. That's my team against United. Team talk. Aggressive. We are Man United after what happened last time. Courage of players. We're ninth. <clears throat> United's corner. Shots blocked twice. Offside. Right, looking for reactions. 22 minutes gone. Even Steven currently. Right, we've got the ball. Wing on the left-hand side. Has the ball taken off of him? Shot saved by Henderson. Highlight continues. Long ball up. To Nelson. Nelson to Tripoli. Perro in the middle of midfield. Sees wing on the left. He cuts in this time. Beats his man. Shoots wide. We've got another highlight. 34 minutes gone. We've got the throw. The new boy up front. Plays it back. Tripoli looks for wing again. Wing brings it down. Cross comes in. Baron Zazi finds a wing again. There's the new low knee and he shoots just wide. Goal kick to Man United. Worked it up to the centre forward, who's done well. Jaden Sancho challenged the ball and falls to Tripoli. Bath turns. Tabakuru's in. They, they block it and they clear it off the goal line and Sancho plays the ball out. It's been us. Mostly us this, this first half. Corner, right on half time. Comes in. Reese Nelson drops. Bath collects the ball. Plays the ball to Kabak. Baranzese. Kabak to Nelson. Inside, Tabakuru. Cross comes in. Wing heads it down. Bath hits the post and they clear it. This is exactly how my season's been. This game just, honestly, it just does it to you. Stitches you up. Talibo with a header straight at the goalkeeper. Highlight's still ongoing. 
And that's it, half time. We've been much the better team. Passionate. We've been the better team here. Assertive. I'm going to make some changes. Wing's not done anything really. Right. Gurai is on 77% fitness, but I can't change him. You have to carry on. Demand more. Come on, boys. Let's get a result. Pick up two points. Two additional points take us a point behind Leicester. United with a free kick. Tadebo heads the ball away and Gurai plays it up to Bath. Holds the ball up and Tabakuru's in. He's in on goal and he's at the post again and this time he scores the follow-up. Four goals in four games he's got. He couldn't play Champions League because he's not registered. I couldn't register him, basically. But he's just scored a breakaway goal. Great from Bath. Great first touch. Shoots it to post, follows up and puts it in to make it 1-0 Gateshead. Brilliant. Right. We've got the corner. Go right to take the corner. Swings the ball in. Nelson's dropped off back post. Farron Zazie. Shot is blocked and United are going to break with about 87 players forward. They've got four on two. Henderson makes a good save. Right, corner to United. Get the ball away. We do. Right, let's make some subs. Wings not done anything, so Tobias comes on the left-hand side. I'm worried about Gurai. He's only 71%. Can anyone play there? Not really. I'm going to have to leave him there, aren't I? Right. In the middle of midfield, Pheasant for Paro and McKinney for Tripoli. Like for like in midfield. A ball winner, a grafter and a playmaker. Both changed over. 20 to go. Demand more from the players. Right, we've got the throw. Baron Zezzi takes it up to Bath, who's done well to turn. Plays it square to McKinney. Good ball to Nelson. Reese Nelson cuts inside. Shoots wide. Tadebo plays it up to Faranzese. Don't do anything stupid. Kenny. Tadebo. Faranzese. Tadebo. Up to Bath. Heads it down to Zabios. Plays the ball into Tabakuru. Picks it just wide. It's deflected. And we've got a corner. This guy up front. Tabakaru. Or Tabakuru. Great player. Header from Kablak. Straight to the goalkeeper. 12 to go. They put on some of the big guns. Gibbs White, Sancho, Havertz, Rashford. They're all on. Connor Pheasant's got the ball in the middle of midfield. Zabios. Great take. And he's in. Unfortunately, he shoots straight at the goalkeeper. Five to go. Can we hold on for a great win? Much needed win against one of the big boys which we quite simply have not had this season. McKenney, Reese Nelson, takes the defender on and beats him. Cross comes in. Cleared. McKenney's won the header, done well. Pheasant, Baron Zezzi, Pheasant, out to Zabios. Can't get there, but he's nicked it. He's done well. Shoots and the goalkeeper saves it. Four minutes of injury time. We've got a throw again. We give the throw away. Pheasant's picked it up. Tabakaru's done well. Nelson gives it away. United are going to break on the counter. Rashford, I've got one defender back to the boat. Oh, great save, Henderson. They've hit the post and Henderson mops it up. Is this going to be a victory? It is. We've beaten Man United. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant performance. United are in turmoil. I can see Pochettino going. They're fourth. They run away with the league table, the league cha league table, the championship last year. They're twelve points off Tottenham, Chelsea are eleven points off, and there's reports that Joachim Love is also under pressure at Chelsea. So that was brilliant. What a great performance from us. Let's play the rest of the league fixtures this weekend, and see where we find ourselves. So that's the fixtures of the weekend completed with team still games in hand. And we are ninth. We're 38 points. We're only a point now behind Leicester in eighth. We've got four point gap to Burnley, six point gap to Forest, and eight points below that. We're 11 points behind sixth place. Liverpool and Wolves on 49 points. That's long gone. So if we can just hopefully try and close the gap to them as much as possible between now and the end of the season, then that will be good. 
schedule wise. So I've got Liverpool FA Cup fifth round coming up. Not worried about that. So this is a big game. Look, in a couple of weeks' time, Leicester at home, who are eighth, one place above me, one point, and then Barcelona. That's the next video. If you're enjoying the series, then smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, and then make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss when my videos come out at 6 o'clock every day. It's never dull or boring. There's always something happening. Thanks for watching. See you next time.